Hey guys, welcome to Integration Week 6 review. Uh, we're purely going to be looking at differential equation questions. Um, just a few variety from, from the past exam papers. So the four questions we're going to be looking at today is these four questions. As usual guys, pause the question, um, see if you can try these questions by yourself first, and then you can actually have a look at my answers to see if you're doing the right thing. All right, so let's get started with the first question. All right, guys, so for the first question, we've got uh, solve the differential equation dy over dx is 2 over x, when x equals 1 and y equals to 3. So what we have is dy dx is equal to 2 over x. So we're going to rearrange that so that dx is coming to the uh, right-hand side. And then at this point, you need to integrate both sides. But remember that dy is actually considered as 1 dy. So when we integrate 1 with respect to dy, we're going to get y. When we integrate 2 over x, we're going to get 2 ln of x plus c. Now, at this point, it actually tells you that when x equals to 1, y is equal to 3. So we can say that y is equal to 3, which equals 2 ln of 1 plus c. <laughs> now, ln of 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, we can see that c is equal, to, uh, is equal to 3. So the equation you're looking at is y equals to 2 ln of x plus 3. And that is the first question, guys. Now we go to the next question. So question number 2 is pretty much the same idea. If dy dx is equal to e to the power of 2x over 4y, y is equal to 4 when x equals 0, find the value of y when x equals 2. So this has a little bit of an extra step. We're going to work out what the c value is, and then we've got to calculate the value of y when x equals to 2. So, first things first, uh, write my equations down as dy dx is equal to e to the power of 2x over 4y. Then I rearrange this as 4y dy equals e to the power of 2x dx. Now, at this point, I need to integrate both sides. So, when I integrate 4y, I'm going to get 4y squared over 2. So 4y squared over 2 uh, equals e to the power of 2x divided by the differentiation of whatever the power is, which is 2 in this case. And of course, don't forget the plus c. So at this point, the equation that I have is 2y squared equals e to the power of 2x over 2 plus c. So the first step I need to do is work out what c is. To do that, I use this thing here, where x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 4. So then I can say that 2 to the 2 times 4 squared equals e to the power of 2 times 0 over 2 plus c. So what we have is 4 squared is 16, 16 times 2 is 32. So we're going to get 32 equals half plus c. So we can rewrite this as c equals 32 minus half. So it can be written as 31.5, which equals to c. So my equation, my general equation at the moment right now is 2y squared equals e to the power of 2x over 2 plus 31.5. Now, the next thing is I need to figure out the value of y when x equals to 2. So x is equal to 2. And what is y? So what I've got here is I write everything as it is. So I've got 2y squared equals e to the power of 2 multiplied by, because x is equal to 2, divided by 2 plus 31.5. Now, this particular part, guys, you can actually do it in the calculator. Um, just rearrange. Um, let me just chuck in the calculator really, but um, what you should end up with getting is um, y squared is equal to 29.4, and so y would be square root of 29.4, or in this case, just rounding it up to 5.42. Okay, that's question two done. I'm going to do two more questions very similar to these types, guys, so just stay with me and let's keep going. All right, so question three. Okay, so 
nothing different exactly same as the previous question so we're going to write down dy dx is equal to 3 root x but I'm going to write that as x to the power of half over 2y so rearranging I mean cross multiplying I'm going to get 2y dy equals 3 to the power 3 times x to the power of half dx so remember that I need to integrate both of the sides so with the first side I'm going to get 2y squared over 2 equals 3 to the power of x sorry 3 to the power of 3 times x to the power of half plus 1 divided by the new power which is half plus 1 plus c so simplifying this I'm going to get y squared equals 3x to the power of 1.5 divided by 1.5 plus c but 3 divided by 1.5 is 2 so I can rewrite this as y squared equals 2x to the power of 1.5 plus c now I need to work out what c is and to do that I'm going to use this where x is equal to 4 y is equal to 5 so I write my equations first which is y squared equals 2x to the power of 1.5 plus c. Uh, y is now equal to 5 squared, uh, 5, so it's going to be 5 squared equals 2 times x is equal to 4 um, to the power of 1.5 plus c. So what we have is 25 equals 2 times 8 which ends up being 16 plus c so therefore we can say that c is equal to 9 and the equation is y squared equals 2x to the power of 1.5 plus 9 now the question is asking us find the value of y when x equals 9 so when x equals to 9 what is y so we have our equation which is y squared equals 2x to the power of 1.5 plus c and we have y squared equals to 2 multiplied by 9 malfunction to the power of 1.5 plus c but we already have c I don't know why I forgot to write that c is actually 9 so when we simplify the inside here, we're going to get y squared equals 54 plus 9. So y squared equals 63. And we can say that the value of y is equal to square root of 63. And that's basically it for this question, guys. Let's go to the next question. All right, guys. So for the final question, what we have been given is d squared y over dx squared equals 6x squared minus 6x so when we integrate this we're going to get well I'm integrating both sides we're going to get dy dx equals 6x uh, so we've got 2 plus 1 as the new power divided by 2 plus 1 minus 6x um, but of course the power of 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1 plus c so what we have got here is 6x to the power of 3 divided by 3 minus 6x to the power of 2 divided by 2 plus c and this simplifies to 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus c now it says that when x equals to 2 dy dx is equal to 8 so when x when x equals to 2, dy dx equals to 8. And because we know that dy dx is this particular formula, what we can then say is we can say that 8 is equal to 2 to the power multiplied by 2 cubed minus 3 times 2 squared plus c. And when we simplify this, we're going to get 8 is equal to 8 times 2 is 16 minus 3 12 plus c 
and when we rearrange this we should get c is equal to positive 4. So what we have is we have dy dx is equal to 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4. So of course if we want to figure out why we need to integrate it once more and so we're going to get 2x 3 plus 1 and we're going to get 3 plus 1 minus 3x squared plus 1 divided by the new power plus 4x plus c. So what we get is y equals 2x to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus 3x to the power of 3 divided by 3 plus 4x plus c. So at this point we now know that when x equals to 2, y is equal to 10. So when x equals 2, y is equal to 10. And so we can do that now. So 10 is equal to 2 over 4, 2 to the power of 4, multiplied by 2 to the power of 4, minus 3 times 2 to the power of 3, divided by 3, plus 4. 4 times 2 plus c and I mean I mean I know we got had c before but I'm just it's still still a constant so when we actually work this out what we end up getting is that 10 is equal to 8 minus 8 plus 8 plus c and so therefore c is equal to 2 which means our final equation is going to be x to the power of 4 over 2 minus x cubed plus 4x plus 2. Alright guys, that's basically the four questions that I wanted to cover this particular week. A lovely plane going by. Yep, plane's gone. Okay, so that's basically it for this week folks. Um, if you have any questions, pop it in the comments below, um, the usual stuff. But apart from that, thank you for watching.